here we are again out on a Wednesday doing a bit of house hunting again. This one here is just across the other side of Petkasem Road uh, from where we currently have our house. Oh, it's very cool. No, ma. Cup on cup. Oh, you can actually feel the air conditioning <laughs> coming out the door when I come in. Anyway, so what's the name of the place, darling? Oh, Superai. 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 Now this is uh, this estate's been here for a couple of years, but they're still selling. It looks like. Well, we had a look at the pricing on there, and it's just way, way outside what I would expect as a reasonable budget. Um, so we're not ever going to review the house. We've got some paperwork there. We're going to move on to the next place. And this one here is an estate um, out of Pekasem, Matty One. It's a bit of bit of actually chore actually getting into here as you can see it's just under construction now uh, these are sort of the you know the, the, the what they call the new style terrace sort of houses um, and they're all sort of going up now we just noticed the fact that the signage here on the road uh, they were showing you know 1.89 million uh, as the starting price so we thought we'd just go and have a look and just sort of see you know as I said when it's when it comes to uh, housing you know this is something I could effectively pay straight up for without getting too worried about anything. Um, so we've got a bit of a sales office in here and this is one of the houses. So really what we're looking for, we're looking for three bedrooms. I think these are only two though. Still trying to work out whether it's okay to video when we're inside or whatever, have a look around. But, um, some of these places when we actually look at these, uh, they get very, very finicky about uh, looking through the houses. Um, I suppose in a new estate like we were at the social last time because there was really nobody there it was okay but uh, that last one we just dropped in at uh, rather expensive but you know like it's pretty much all sold out there's only about maybe sort of you know 20 percent of the locations left so you're actually in somebody's you know new housing estate and that's really not the you know the appropriate way to behave but that's the way it goes here this is one of the ones that's not the 1.89 million but it's 2.5 so it's got a little kitchen there, it's got a dining area, it's got a bathroom downstairs. Again, it's got a little, um, a little Harry Potter room underneath the stairwell. Of course, this is not lived in, this is just uh, decorated, sort of gives you an idea of the living space. Um, I'm not trying to work out, yeah, this is just like a, a communal area, it's not our area, it's not part of the house. But you can walk out into there, of course. A little stairway going up. Feels quite solid. Okay, there we go. There's my study. So it's got a little air conditioner in there. I can definitely sort of make myself quite at home there. Put a little pull down curtain for the backdrop sort of thing. <coughs> One of the smaller bedrooms. It's this is the master bedroom and you've got a separate exit, the, it's, a, it's a shared bathroom and this one's got obviously a, um, a walk-in door into the bathroom but it is a shared bathroom arrangement. But it's not a bad looking house, you know, for 2.5 million. She does sort of say it's you know, big enough for two cars here on this one here. I'm guessing these smaller ones across the side, uh, without the study, are the 1.89 million ones. They're just a bit on the too, too, on the, too much on the small side. But uh, you know, this one here is a, it's a half decent size, and it really can't go wrong for a small family. It looks good. But uh, whether you can actually get two cars in here as a <laughs> at a pinch. But uh, then of course, where do you put the motorcycles? This one's a little bit on the smaller side. This has really only got the single, single bedroom, <laughs> so single par, uh, car space. Um, it's a downstairs bathroom, little kitchenette area. Not quite sure about this. This sort of whole thing looks a bit weird, but and again, that's, uh, you can see the edge of the lot there. So here we are. Now the individual room is a little bit on the bigger side, so um, but it doesn't have the study shared bathroom again. Um, fairly small for the shower recess. 
This would be the master bedroom. But again, so there's really nowhere to put the computer set up, which would make it a bit difficult. But yeah, for, you know, this is the sort of thing you pay for 1.89 million, which is, you know, pretty good value. So all up there, there's just obviously the two, basically the two designs of the, of the houses. Uh, the one we just saw there, uh, that's the middle ones as well, they've got a slightly different layout. But they are fairly critical on, on the amount of land that they take up. And this is where the pricing seems to be really reflective, is you know, how much land uh, is being used um, you know, for each particular plot. Now, uh, I'm going to sort of gain these, these ones here, they look bigger. Uh, so the end one was one we looked at, the showroom one looks smartly bigger. I don't know if it's got a bigger or a bigger layout. We'll find that out as well. She was also sort of saying the fact that in the lot there's, uh, there's two end lots uh, which haven't been sold yet. They're probably three or four months away from being finished. Um, but they actually have a sort of a, a lot more land on them so you could put a little sort of outside place there for your motorcycles as well. Um, and again, without really sort of seeing it, it's a bit hard to visualise, but we can always, you know, if it's, it's one of those sort of things, it just takes a bit of time to work this stuff out. Of course, you know, no problem getting internet fibre connections here. That's one of the things that we need to consider, uh, being where we are. This is, uh, this is on Petkasen Soy 81. It's on the other side of the road again from where we currently live. Um, yeah, well, it's a nice little estate. It's a bit of a hell of a thing getting in here. Like, it's just twists and turns and sort of, you know, fairly, fairly narrow dual lane roads because that's where it is. Um, there's no direct access to the main road, you know, not like where we currently live. So that's obviously a, a negative point as well. Um, the plot, so again, sort of, the, the, the one we saw with the study, they're actually calling that a three bedroom. Uh, I don't sort of see how they can actually get a bed in that third room. So it's really a bit of a you know, play with words, uh, but, you know, maybe sort of, maybe one of these other ones here, the one that they had the, the uh, sales office in, that might be something a slightly larger design. It's hard to tell, though. I did ask, and she says, no, those ones there, the, the 2.5 million, and they're all the same layout maybe reversed inside, so they've all got that small third room or the study, um, and it really just comes down to the pricing, really reflects uh, on the amount of land that they sit on, and uh, as I said, you know, the 2.5 million, well, it's not a bad design, but I, I just feel it's living on the cramp side, you know, and uh, what would it look like in five years' time, you know, would the, you know, everybody throwing different sort of designed awnings over the, you know, <laughs> this is what happens, you know, it's all out in the open. And so what will happen is, as people buy and they own, you know, you'll have you know out drop out outcrop uh, awnings coming over your your car parking space, and that can start to get really unsightly as well, um, you know, as as where we are living at the moment. Um, you know, everybody goes and gets the, the best price, or you know, somebody, some friends or a friends does it, and so it starts to look rather sort of cluttered. Um, but yeah. Uh, the road space looks pretty good, uh, you know, it's easy access unlike the, the current battle lux blocks you'll see. So it's definitely an option, but uh, you know, 2.5 million, yeah, well, it's quite serviceable. Uh, our biggest problem right now is um, uh, she needs to, obviously, it's only after this month will be her 12 month worth of records on her bookkeeping, uh, which is when that's what the banks require to obviously give her um, the indication of how much she can she can borrow up to, so it's one of those sort of questions. You know, this is really sort of we're still doing the groundwork. This is our second week in in October. Um, we really won't have any sort of indication of how much she can borrow um, until sort of probably mid November. But that doesn't mean we can't sort of continue to look around. And we're going to try to do one of these look arounds every couple of weeks. Um, she didn't really want to get out this time today because it was raining a bit earlier, but <laughs> I managed to convince her to get out of the house. So um, <clears throat> that's where we are right now. 5 p.m. I think maybe no. can try one more. No, I cannot. I think stop now.
Okay. But I think to go looking is something hungry. <laughs> she hungry. Okay, we might. Later. Yeah, but we have plenty of time to do more only of this. Only one EP, <laughs> just only one how, not yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, let's. They, they would look at two places. One was just all I would think is well outside uh, what we could afford. Um, and this one here is Kwon uh, No, no, you're talking. I want to show. Yeah, Hunsa. Yes, this place is uh, uh, Hunsai. Hunsai? Yeah. Hunsai, yeah. yeah. Nice brochure. Uh, but that's what they do. They do all this lovely work. Anyway, let's go and find some food. And I have mentioned it in a few uh, videos in the past. Yes, we now have a Burger King just around the corner from us. So, <laughs> it's her day off. <laughs> and why you want why you want Burger King, darling? <laughs> Thai people want Burger King. <laughs> now she happy. She had Burger King. She want to eat my fry. Yeah, she want chicken and rice. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. You happy? I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. So now she's happy. She's had some Burger King. She had a look at a house, ready for work tomorrow again. You ready to go back to work tomorrow, darling? You ready for work in the morning? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Anyway, back in the car and we'll head back home. I don't know. Want to go to school where? Me yeah, driving something, man. She want to go. Okay, we finished the video. What do you want to see, Pat? Okay, let's see. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Now she's telling me how to lose the camera. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we're back home, back home, and you are down, up, up. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want to go up? Why do you want to look up? Oh, it's, oh, it's always beautiful if you look up. Yeah. No, I look silly if I, no, if I walk around like this. Look cylinder. <laughs> Wait, you see, my face cylinder like this. <laughs> when should. you move like this, oh, too big. <laughs> my sword. <laughs> Thailand all the time went to our <laughs> selfie queen photo, selfie queen. photo like this Kun Ting Tong. anyway we're gonna wrap it up here <laughs> you're crazy yes I know anyway so we'll be doing more of this we'll run around and look at housing uh, in the coming weeks and hopefully within the next month and a half we'll find out how much we can borrow and then we'll really get serious about getting a house <laughs> anyway bye for now bui, bui. catch you next time Peace out guys, peace out. Photobomb.